Alright guys, welcome to the playoffs here with South Shields on Football Manager in the National League. We will be playing through the whole entire playoffs, so hopefully this will be a longer episode as that will mean we have advanced as far as we possibly can. The shorter the episode, not so good for us. So we are taking on Hartlepool just three days after that final game of the season. We are voting an unchanged team. The conditions aren't quite as good as I would like them to be, but I am choosing to field our strongest team. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get this match started. I'm going to passionately tell them to go out there and get revenge. And we got a tunnel interview. All right. And we are underway here. Come on, you Mariners. Let's get this win here in advance in the playoffs. I want to get out of this league and get into the football league. I always find getting promotion from the National League is one of the more challenging ones as you only have one automatic promotion spot for the champion and six teams fighting for playoffs and only one of them gets promoted at the end of it whereas once you get promoted into the football league you have four teams that get promotion so it's a little easier but this is our chance. Come on, Sheldon. Oh, he fires it just wide. He did a great job pickpocketing that player. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and he hits it wide. Ah, oh, come on. And that was a very quick first half. And it is now halftime. We've looked to have been the better team. But we have nothing to show for it. I would really, really prefer to get the win in normal time. Going into extra time would be a nightmare. Because I'm pretty sure the next round of playoffs starts in like three days as well. Alright, 60 minutes gone. Harrison Devine coming on for Marley Blair. Let's get some Divine magic out there. And James Ibrahim on for Kenyon. And we're going to hold on to our final substitution to see what happens here. Wilkinson with the throw, and he was looking for Webster, but it gets headed back to Wilkinson. Vines in so much space, and he <laughs> buries it. 80th minute goal. Harrison of Vine completely left. All alone, Haygarth sees him, and Divine shows the composure there and calmly fires it into the bottom corner. Unbelievable. We are going to make our final substitution. Daniel Wright on for Haygarth to get some fresh legs in this last 10 minutes in the midfield. Come on, you Mariners. Just a couple minutes left. They got a throw in in our final third. But Flat catches that cross. Come on, guys. Let's keep our nerves here and see out this game. Paveda running with the ball. Can he find Sheldon? He does. Can you get the second goal? He can't. It gets saved. And it is out for a corner. That should have been the goal that would have sealed the game. Paveda taking his time over this corner. He plays it in. Zuma has a shot from the top of the box, but it is out for a goal kick. And we now have another corner. Paveda whoops that in. Was looking for Sheldon. Webster picks up the ball, and he is just running backwards. And the ref calls for full time, and we get the 1-0 win. 
to advance over Hartlepool, our first ever victory over Hartlepool, and what a time to get that first win. Harrison Devine, super substitution, comes on and saves us. Marcus Sheldon had a terrible game, needs to do better in our next match. Let's see who we will be taking on. Looks like, oh gosh, we are going to be playing Barnet. They are a very good team, and it's going to take a lot to get a win against them. But I will go ahead and bring you back for that match here in just a moment. All right, and we are just about ready to take on Barnet here. Building once again an unchanged team. One change on the bench. Harry Green takes over General Wright's spot. He is available for this game now. Here we go. This is going to be a very tough game against the team that finished in second place. And of course, last time we took them on was in the FA Trophy where they beat us. I believe it was 4-1. to one. So we must put on an improved performance this time. Got some encouragement, Adam. Alex Kenyon picks up an early yellow card. Not something that you would like to see in a playoff game. But Barnett putting on some early pressure. Wilkinson leaves his man and he catches that and he finds a player in the middle who fires it just over. Ten minutes gone, not much highlights going on yet, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but we do have a corner now. Paveda whips it in. It's cleared out, falls to Blair, plays it back to Paveda. Can he get across? And he does. That is also cleared. Zuma picks that up, plays it to Kenyon. Paveda once again on the ball. He has a shot this time. Surely that's a penalty. What? Ref plays on. That was surely a penalty or a dive. Ref plays on instead, though. We are still on the ball. Comes to Webster. Can he pick out Paveda? He does. And he gets the shot off. And he scores his 15th of the season to put us up 1-0 against Barnett in the playoff semifinals. Thought we should have had a penalty. We play on, though. Credit to the boys out there. They kept playing on. Paveda eventually gets that ball. And he places that top corner beautifully. Come on, you Mariners. Mariners on the ball once again. Webster crosses it in. It falls to Haygarth now. Picks out Wilkinson. Try to beat his man. He was not able to. Eventually comes to Blair here on the left-hand side. Back to Kenyon. Down to Haygarth. Up to Poveda, who has a long-range shot. And it tested the keeper who needed to save that. As that was going in. On the corner now, Paveda whips it in. Corners have not been great, but we are on the ball here. Kenyon looking for something. Comes to nothing. We need to do better on our corners. We're getting plenty of those, and we need to capitalize. Now into the last couple minutes of the first half. We are up yeah, though it's been pretty even stats-wise, the highlights have been heavily in our favor. And that is where the first half comes to an end. We have the one goal advantage as well. In the other game, Dagenham and Redbridge have a one goal lead over Wrexham. So, we've got to guard against complacency in the second half. The job is not over yet. We're in a good position though. Let's go out there and see off the second half and get into the playoff final. Come on, Mariners. Barnett with a free kick. They look to play it long. They do. It's headed on by their striker who almost caught Zuma napping. The long balls are out in full force now. I saw Haygarth with a silly foul down there. He's surely going to pick up a yellow card for that. Got to keep our heads here, guys. I'm not liking the start of the second half. They are all over us. Thankfully, their shot goes over the top. Pick 
picking up some yellow cards now through Webster. Two midfielders now on a yellow. One of their players, Harry Henry Lawrence, picked up a yellow. Another highlight here. We're on the ball this time. I do not like how close they're getting to our defenders while they're looking for a pass. It's very dangerous. If they snatch that off of us, they'll be on goal. But Wilkinson is making a run down here. And of course, he turned it over as soon as I start talking about it. Barnett looking for a counterattack. And what a save by Flat! I thought for sure they were going to get a goal there. But Flat comes up with a huge save. Paveda has picked up a knock by the looks of it and is struggling for fitness now. So we're going to bring on Harrison Devine in his place on that right hand side. Into the 65th of the minute now, we're getting down to the business end of the game. We are going to bring on... Hmm, I'm not sure which one do I want to bring on. We're going to bring on James Ibrahim for Max Haygarth. Henry Green. Harry Green. His name is Harry. Yeah. It's been a while since he's played, so I forgot his first name. But anyways, Ibrahim comes on for Haygarth for some fresh legs. Getting very close to the end of the game here now. Webster with the free kick. Can he get someone on the ball? He does. He gets Ibrahim. But Keeper comes up with a save. That would have been a huge, huge goal for us. And 83 minutes gone. We're going to bring on Jack Robinson for Blair Adams. The pressure is going to be mounting up. Oh no, free kick, dangerous position. Oh my god. Off the post, off the keeper, it dribbles just wide. Oh my god. I do not know how we survived that. The pressure is coming on. We are hanging on by a thread now at this point. Going to park the bus. There we go. I think that might be... This is going to be the formation that will hopefully see us into the playoff finals. Not sure how many added minutes are going to get added here. Oh my god, I thought that was in. I thought that was in for sure. 92nd minute out of 95. Barnett are all over us. We are holding on. Surely this is going to be the last highlight. Just boot it. Just boot it. Oh, thank god. He lost the ball, but the ref calls for full time. And we somehow snatch a 1-0 victory over Barnett. Take a look at the stats. 20 shots compared to our 9. But we got the only one that matters. Carlo Paveda fires us into the playoff final. What a awesome game that was. Second half, especially the last 15. We were just holding on, and we found a way to hang on just long enough. We are into the playoff finals. Let's see who we will be taking on, and it is Dagingham and Redbridge in the playoff finals. That is the team we wanted to see. They are the fifth place team. Wrexham was the third place team. So the playoff final will take place. At Wembley, six days time, I will bring you guys back here for that epic game here in just a moment. Alright, it is that time. The playoff final against Dagingham and Redbridge. We have played four times already. We have two wins. They have one win, and there has been one draw. They come into this game as the favorites, and they are in excellent form. Just one draw, 
and four wins in their last five games. We come in decent form, one loss, two draws, and two wins. But we are performing when it matters. So hopefully we will do the same today at Wembley in the playoff finals. Fielding again the same team. One change on the bench. Green and right switch places once, once again. Harry Green fractured his ribs in a friendly match with the under-18 team. He was on the field for 45 minutes, and that's all I was going to have him on there for, and he fractured his ribs. So he misses out on the playoff final. But this is the team that got us here. This is the team that will hopefully get us to League 2. Here we go. The playoff finals. And Sheldon gets us underway here at Wembley. Come on, you Mariners. Just one game stands in our way. And Millen Bars of Dagon Red picks up a yellow card. That's all right. We shout some encouragement at our players. Blair gets fired up by the feedback. And we now have a throw in. Wilkinson finds Haygarth. Back to Wilkinson, he crosses it in, and he finds Blair, and Blair gets it in on the second chance. We get the goal, 25 minutes into the game. This is what dreams are made of. Wilkinson, beautiful cross. Blair, unlucky the first time, but he picks up the rebound. He's not going to get denied the second time. Beautiful Beautiful scenes here at Wembley as the Mariners get the goal lead. Forty minutes into the game, we have held Dag and Red without a single shot. We now have a corner. Blair picks up this ball, plays it to Zuma, who finds Haygarth in the middle, and he plays it back to Wilkinson, and we look to recycle possession here. Kenyon ends up with the ball on the left. He plays it back to Ellis Plummer. Please pass the ball. Don't do that. Ellis, what are you doing? You had so many opportunities to pass the ball. And thank God Oscar Board was offsides. Plummer, what are you doing? Oh, that is extremely close. And if that was me, if that was the Mariners, I would be absolutely fuming. That was the tightest of tight calls. But we come to halftime with the one goal advantage. Whew, 45 minutes hopefully is all that stands between us and the win. It's been a very, very tight affair so far. Only two shots in the game. Both of them are ours. Come on, Mariners. Let's hold on to this lead. Let's hold on to this lead and get a second goal here. Kenyon on the ball. Plays the Paveda. Picks out Webster. He finds Sheldon. Oh, how did... What? Off the post? Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. We now have a corner. Paveda plays it in. Kenyon with the header. Goalkeeper. Claims that fairly easily. Flat picks up the ball. Very weird highlight here. Everything just seemed to slow down, but Plummer picks up the ball now from Flat. We're looking to hold on to this ball and fashion ourselves an opportunity here. Hagarth plays it down to Wilkinson. Plays it inside to Paveda. Picks out Sheldon. You have Webster in the middle. He picks out Wilkinson. Who finds Webster now? Surely the second goal. He gets it. He's not going to miss. Mariners have a two goal advantage in the 64th minute. Beautiful team play here. Wilkinson sees Webster making that run. Webster has all the time in the world. 
and he was not going to miss that opportunity. We are surely on our way to League 2 now. And we're going to make a substitution. Harrison Devine for Marley Blair and James Ibrahim for Max Haygarth. Get some fresh legs out there to see out this game. We'll hold on to that final substitution just a little bit longer. Flat with a free kick now. Picks out Plummer. Plays it up to Kenyon. Over to Ibrahim. We are just passing it around for fun right now. They can't score if they don't have the ball. Paveda now looking to get things kick-started. Cuts inside. He plays it to Sheldon. Mm, kind of forced that a little bit. He should have waited a little bit longer until Sheldon made a run. They now have the ball. They play it over the top. Plummer get back there. He does well enough, but... Oh, come on. Millen Bars picks up a goal for Dagenred in the 80th minute. The pressure just skyrocketed now. Eighty-five minutes gone. We are going to make our final substitution. We will bring on Jack Robinson for Blair Adams. We're coming into the closing minutes now. Time to park the bus. Surely this is the final highlight. Please don't be a goal, though. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Thank you, Oscar Borg, for being offsides again. And the final whistle blows. And we get promoted here at Wembley. We are going to League 2. The celebrations on the field at Wembley. What a game. What a season. There were numerous times I thought for sure we were going to blow our chances of getting into the playoffs. But they came up when they needed it. And we got all the way to the playoff final at Wembley. And we get the win over Dagingham and Redbridge. Unbelievable scenes. Goal by Marley Blair and Connor Webster before Bards gets an 81st minute goal for Dag and Red to put the pressure on. But we get what we needed. And we are into a League 2. Unbelievable. Let's, yeah, let, we're going professional. Absolutely. That is huge. And we now have the initial payroll for the next season. We will have $1.1 million to spend on player wages and 67000 for transfer budget. That will be hard to use, but we get promotion. Unbelievable scenes. They stated head coach James Boyd had done a remarkable job at Mariners Park and hope he will continue to be a success for the club for years to come, as do I. Unbelievable. What the heck? Plan professional status change. We will be a professional team at the start of next season. I will go ahead and... Simulate into the end of the season awards and we'll go over the stats then and taking a look here at our end of the season awards the fans player of the season once again goes to Blair Adams taking in 47% of the votes Blair Adams our ever present left back um, definitely had a, a solid season maybe not as uh, solid as 
his first couple seasons here. Um, but he definitely played a big part in our season. But Carlo Paveda gets a sweep of the rest of the awards. Goal of the season, signing of the season, and young player of the season. Let's go ahead and take a look at this goal of the season. He was ever present for us, notching in plenty of goals and assists. He gets the ball, and he does a first time shot, buries it, far corner. He has a wonder of a left foot. Let's just take a look at his stats real quick for us. So, in the league, he had 44 starts, 3 appearances off the bench, notching in 15 goals. He only got 2 assists, I thought he had more than that. But nonetheless, he picked up 5 player of the matches with an average rating of 7.09. Very, very phenomenal in his first season with the Mariners. And another thing of note here, I am on the shortlist of the National League Manager of the Year. I am considered one of the front runners. The other one is Andy Dawson of Wrexham. Solid season for Wrexham, but I mean, we did get promoted, and we were predicted to come pretty far down at the beginning of the season. Yes, we are projected in 23rd. Wrexham were projected 4th. So, who did the better job? I guess we'll let the other managers decide that. Um, but why don't we take a look real quick at the National League stats. So, the top goal scorer was Ian Tegart of Borham Wood. The Northern Irishman bagged 21 goals in 36 appearances, so he was the league top goal scorer. Most assists came from Kyle Scott of Dagingham and Redbridge. He notched 18 assists this season, 5 more than the next player, and we didn't have anyone on the top list there for either of those. Most key passes. Yes, we finally have someone on the list here. Max Hagar comes in fifth place. 59 key passes over the season. At a total of 86%. Um, but the top key pass player was Mike Douglas of Solihull Moors. 72 key passes. Very impressive. Distance covered during 90 minutes. Connor Ripster is 6 on that list. He almost has 8 miles these people cover in a match. <laughs> That's insane. But... That's pretty much the key stuff. We'll take a look at the, the team stats here. Most goals became joint third with 71. Barnett came top of the league with 81 goals. That is a good amount. Best average possession. That would be us with 60% of possession throughout the whole entire season. Phenomenal. Most passes completed. We completed 82% of our passes. Fantastic that we... Um, are completing our possession and trying to play attractive football for our fans. And most tackle percentage came from the Mariners as well. 91% of our tackles have been won. And least conceded, Salford only conceded 39 goals in 46 matches. That is why they won the league. We did not make that list there, though. And just taking a look at some of our players' stats, Marcus Sheldon was our top goal scorer for the season. 19 goals. Alex Kenyon, 
highest average rating of 7.07, .07, and we had three players that came on nine assists, so Marley Blair, Max Haygarth, and Connor Webster leading our team in assists this season. Best pass completion came from Harry Green at 90%. Um, his contract runs for another year, um, but that long-term injury he had this season um, will make it hard for him to take back his starting role, especially since we have Haygarth and Alex Kenyon. And now that we're a League 2 team, we will be able to attract better players. And Marcus Sheldon notched six player of the match awards during the season, making him our most POM player this season. And switching over to our finances, we are sitting in an okay position at $683,000 in our bank balance. You can take a look here. We've um, had some up and downs, but we are doing all right. Um, since we're turning professional, we will probably need to upgrade our stadium. Um, so I'm interested to see if the board builds a new stadium or if they um, do some upgrades to our current stadium to make it um, up to league requirements. Um, either way, that will take a lot of money so this could change here fairly soon but this is where we will end this episode and this season next season we will be in league two so join me then until next time it has been your boy 147